What's good, Josh? I'm Makai, and welcome back to my channel. So, the Bucks lost the series now to Miami. And one of the, what I, what I think is one of the biggest upsets of the playoffs because I had, you know, Giannis and the Bucks winning in seven. I never thought Miami would win in five. It never occurred in my mind that it would be possible. Like, after game one, that's when I thought, you know, man, Miami don't really have a shot to really do this, but I didn't think they were going to, you know, dominate like how they did. Because the way Giannis went out, the way Giannis and the Bucks went out was kind of anticlimactic. But, you know, for him to be the MVP and the, def the defensive player of the year, it's just like, dang, man, you went on in five in the second round. But, you know, I want to give props to Giannis and the Bucks for a great season. I think they had the best record in the NBA for the second straight year. Giannis averaged, what, 30, 13, and, what, five and a half in just 30 minutes a game. Like, just because they, you know, went out in the second round doesn't mean we got to disrespect them. They had a great season. It was amazing. And props to them. But now, in this offseason, Giannis has some big questions to ask himself. He got to ask himself, man, do I really want to stay in Milwaukee? Do I really want to just live the rest of my career? Not even live, play the rest of my career in a place that no free agents are going to come and I'm going to have to do this thing by myself, most likely. So for me, the best place for him to go is no, no. The best place for him to go is Miami. And I say Miami because he fits just very well with that team. Well, you know, you know what, scratch that. The best place for him to go would be Golden State because of all them shooters. Miami got shooters, but Golden State has the best shooters. But for that to happen, a trade would have to happen to for him to go to Miami or Golden State. And right now, Golden State, they could put up, they could put together a package for him. I can see, you know, Wiggins, that number two pick, and whatever else salary fillers you got to put for Giannis's contract. But for Miami, they're definitely going to have to part ways with Tyler Hero. They're going to have to, you know, mess up that core. And I don't think Pat Riley would want to do that. I think Golden State is much more likely to, you know, put together a package for Giannis. But, you know, Giannis said yesterday uh, that he wants to play the rest of his career in Milwaukee. He's not going to request a trade. And, I mean, I take that with a grain of salt because you remember what happened in 2018, right? When Kyrie said in October, oh, Boston, I'm going to resign if you guys will have me. And then a few months later, he's talking about, I don't owe anybody anything. So when it comes to these NBA players, I don't believe anything until I see it. Because things can change. If Milwaukee just, it's not like Milwaukee is refusing to get better. They can't really do anything. Like their salary is locked up. They're not a, a big market. It's Milwaukee for Christ's sake. Who wants to play in Milwaukee? Who wants to go to Milwaukee? The only way they can get better is to trade. And I mean, what kind of assets do they have? They don't have, you know, high picks. They don't have, you know, good well, they have good role players, but I don't think they want to part with them. So unless they can get Giannis, what, CP3, because that's a trade rumor that I've been hearing a lot. CP3 to the Bucks because the Thunder, they just let go of Billy Donovan. And I was really shocked when that happened because I'm thinking they're going to run it back. They had a good season this year. They just went out because of two bad plays. Like, they were two bad plays away from pulling off an upset in the first round. But, yeah, if the Bucks can get CP3, Giannis should be happy there. He should, you know, really be able to contend. But if they can't get them a big name like that, somebody who will really – take some of the weight off their shoulders because to be honest Giannis isn't you know some great ball handling playmaker that should be in charge of the playmaking duties for, for Milwaukee he needs somebody like CP3 or you know another off ball scorer not off ball scorer another isolation scorer maybe somebody like Bradley Bill would be fine but I don't see the point in training for him but yeah Giannis he if he wants to win a championship realistically, like I'm not saying it's impossible in Milwaukee, but realistically, if he wants to win a championship, he needs to just go. He needs to just leave. He needs to go to Miami, go to Golden State, go somewhere where you know you're not the main star. Chris Middleton is, is a star, but he's like a low-level star. Like you never know what you're getting with him. 
one night guy he could have 36 another night he could have 12. it's like you can't deal with that kind of inconsistency and actually honestly give you everything he has and then yeah not win and you want him to still be happy and still just play for that team it, it don't work like that so him and dame little have the same problem it's like dame it's not that they being stubborn it's just they being you know they're being loyal and I, you know i commend players that do that they're gonna go down as legends for that they're gonna be remembered as the guys who didn't leave their team in the era when leaving teams was finally you know normal but dame needs to leave portland i've said that in past videos and Giannis needs to leave milwaukee but Giannis has more of a shot than dame does you know in the teams they're on right now dame has no shot at a championship i'm just be blunt be honest about that dame has no shot but Giannis, he has a chance if either two things happen if they can trade for a good you know co-star for Giannis, maybe Giannis will be the number two option for that but he doesn't have to be the number two option it doesn't have to be somebody who's better than him it has to be somebody who has skills that he doesn't possess like high level playmaking high level ball handling and high level shooting somebody like Chris Paul like I just said or they're gonna have to wait for Giannis to develop I guess wait for Giannis to develop a jump shot and if they want to if Milwaukee wants to wait that long then kudos to them but I don't think they're gonna wait that long because when it comes to these athletic players they decline the fastest because they rely so much on their strength and athleticism and speed when you age, those are the first things to go. If you're a shooter, you're always going to be a shooter. But if you're all athletic, you lose it and you start to decline. And Giannis is not LeBron. I'm pretty sure he won't be, you know, this good for 17 years. I'm not saying I don't want him to be, but I'm pretty sure he won't. But yeah, Giannis has questions to answer this offseason. And I'm very, very excited to see what he decides. Because, you know, most likely he's going to stay in Milwaukee, but... It'll be exciting to see him in Miami or Golden State. And, you know, it'll make the NBA a lot more exciting than, you know, all the disappointment we see in the playoffs every year from the Bucks. All right, y'all. If you stay to the end of this video, thank you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one.